Greetings and welcome to our series of weekly devotionals. This week we're looking at a passage in the second book of Kings, talking about the famous story of Naaman, the uh, Syrian army officer, cured of leprosy. And uh, I mentioned a movie yesterday. I'm going to talk about another movie today. Uh, the movie Lincoln, um, directed by Steven Spielberg. And uh, of course, in that movie, Lincoln is depicted as a great orator and uh, a masterful tactician and politician. But he's also depicted, I think, as something else. And it's, it's made obvious in the very first scene. There's a, a regiment of African-American soldiers and they're uh, shipping out. And he takes the time to, to sit and listen to, to each of them. He asks them their, their names, their experiences, tell, asks how they're doing. Um, and, and I think as the movie progresses, that's one of the things that's sort of highlighted is, yes, he's a, a very powerful man and a very uh, talented and capable man, but he's also a man that, that listens, that listens and relies on others. And that's part of what makes him such a great leader. And I think uh, in the story of Naaman, of course, uh, what eventually leads to his transformation and his healing, his restoration, if you will, is, is his willingness to eventually let go of the power, the control, let go of the, the authority, let go of all the bluster, and, and be willing to humble himself. Uh, to listen to the words of the slave girl that directs him to listen to the words of the prophet and eventually to listen to the Spirit of God. And uh, as we read in the second to last verse, he went down and, and immersed himself seven times in the Jordan according to the word of the man of God, and then of course his flesh was restored like the flesh of a young boy, and he was clean. He took the time to listen, and certainly that's something we're all called to do as as people of faith. And of course, sometimes it's very difficult to listen to others. Uh, a couple of weekends ago at Forks Community Days, there was someone that stopped by our booth, and she she wanted to talk about theology and and uh telling me that uh you know in her opinion certain individuals were sinners and on and on she went and uh quoting bible verses and she didn't really want to uh listen to anything i said and i found her to be very difficult to listen to and i kind of tried to get away <laughs> until one of the members of our congregation said to her uh lady do you want a raffle ticket or not and finally kind of cut her off and and uh and she stopped talking. And, uh, you know, that's a reminder that, yes, there are people that are very difficult to listen to sometimes, and especially when we know we're right. But I think it's one of the essential components of, of, of transformation, of the kind of healing and reconciliation that God offers is, is being willing to listen, being willing to humble ourselves at times. And, uh, and let go of the need to always be right. And so perhaps we might follow the example of this powerful, mighty warrior and be willing to humble ourselves and listen. Who might we listen to this week? Amen.